And I wish somebody in government would actually talk to somebody like me. And credit where it's due, some governments have sent for me and asked me to explain this, and some royal families and leaders of communities. And there are now countries in the world that are reducing levels and trying to change things. But the Western commercial governments, uh, are, the UK especially, uh, not only are they not trying to control this, but before our last government left a few months ago, they gave the industry permission to increase its power threefold. And we already had the highest levels on the planet. So they are encouraging the industry. Where these people think they're going to go and live when they have their knighthoods and all of this money and whatever other trappings, Rolls Royces and yachts they think they've got, um, where they think they're going to take them to live, I don't know. Maybe they haven't thought that far ahead. Uh, and maybe they should come and talk to us. But they are going to end up living on the same planet and their generations are going to end up paying the same price as our generations. Truly, truly disturbing stuff. Um, would you like to explain a little bit about breast cancer and microwaves? <clears throat> breast cancer is not totally understood. <clears throat> Research has shown uh, that microwaves seem to induce uh, breast cancer in women, but not in men, very, very rarely in men. Now, there are a, a few... Um, reasons we believe for this, <clears throat> we know that uh, from epidemiological studies, uh, and they have specifically said at the end of an epidemiological studies when they look at cancers, and in fact there's one here in Berlin, they said that there was a sevenfold increase in breast cancers in women. But most of the epidemiological studies you look at they say there is generally an increase in eight different types of cancer, specifically breast cancer in women. <clears throat> and whether because the breasts are bigger than men, the mammary cells absorb more radiation. I have been told today by Karen that she read an article, uh, and I did mention this, uh, that the the metal in bras, uh, the the cups which are parabolically shaped in bras, they are metal, and women tend to carry the phones in in a bag over the shoulder, which transmit straight through the breast. Your your phones can transmit when they're on standby, but these days they can be made to transmit even when they're totally off. So assume if you've got a phone, it is transmitting all day and all night. Now, women tend to carry them over a shoulder bag into the breast. Now, we know, and this cannot be disputed, that metal will absorb microwaves. It's why you, you cannot put metal into a microwave oven. Mm. When the metal absorbs microwaves, it re-emits it straight away. So it's coming in and going out straight away. And it re-emits it at a slightly different wavelength. And we don't know what that wavelength is. I haven't seen a paper that has measured it. But we know it's being emitted. <clears throat> so what you have, and we know this cannot be disputed, we know that if the, the bra of a lady is being microwaved, the metal cups will be absorbing the microwaves. They have to do that. We know they will be re-emitting it in a parabolic 
focus. So what you will have with your cup <clears throat> is the waves will be reflected like a magnifying glass into a small area. <clears throat> so the area may be a few hundred or a few thousand mammary cells big. I would like to see, I know Karen said that there is a paper, I haven't seen one published, the research may be in for peer review, but it would be a very, very good experiment uh, for a PhD student uh, to do, send to somebody like Nature and have peer reviewed. But theoretically, what we can argue is the microwaves are being reflected with a parabolic focal point somewhere in the mammary cells in the breast. And that is what we believe may be causing the increased breast cancer in women. Any epidemiological, epidemiological study will show that women get more breast cancer when they are microwaved, anyone. And in fact, a really good experiment, <clears throat> and you were there when I spoke, Doctor, um, at Swindon. Mm -hmm. I mentioned a really clever study uh, carried out in Estonia, where two professors, and this was published in the, the Australasian Journal for Environmental Health, it was published in there. They took a whole country, Estonia, and they looked at all of the cancers and all of the people and all of the health to professors. Then the mobile industry moved in. And then years later, they looked at the cancers again. And they found an increase of all of the main types of cancer. And their conclusion was that the telecommunications industry was responsible and they also said a very interesting sentence, which I've since read in other papers, that women are more susceptible than men. A, because of the breast tissue, and B, because uh, women have much more complicated hormonal systems. The reason for which isn't scientifically fully understood yet uh, we're not clever enough to understand all of these miracles that go on inside the, the female body. But they are obviously being disrupted. <clears throat> and at the Swindon talk, uh, a counsellor, a gentleman, stood up and said, Aha, that was probably due to the Chernobyl radiation drifting across uh, Estonia and causing the cancers. Now, I have never embarrassed a child in any of my classes in 20 years of teaching, and I did not want to embarrass this counsellor in front of a room full of people, so I kept quiet. But <clears throat> any senior school child can tell you the difference between cancer from plutonium, cobalt-60, uranium-235, uranium-238, and microwaves. Any child in my school class would tell you that. Now, if two professors, experts in radiation, are going to make that mistake, I won't believe it. So we can rule out Chernobyl, uh, and I believe that their conclusion is the correct one, and it matches the epidemiological studies. Women do suffer more from men. They do get, as we showed in Berlin here, uh, in Berlin, a sevenfold increase in breast cancer. We're not sure why, <clears throat> and the reason we're not sure why, if, if I may go on, is that no safety tests were done on cell phones before they were given to the general public. Not a single safety test was done. 
Like, unlike drugs or anything else, it has to pass a safety test. Not a single test was done. This is the test now. Every single embryo, every single lady, every single child is now a part of this global experiment which is showing what it is showing, that we are failing to protect the entire planet. And that is the problem. Uh, the only specification uh, in the UK, <coughs> excuse me, the only specification was that if you used a cell phone or lived near a tower, you would not get too warm in six minutes. That is the only legal European requirement. That is it. The World Health Organization, the ICNRP or the International Certificate, the only legal requirement is that you do not get too warm in six minutes. That is it. That's not a heck of a lot of protection. No, nope. and it was based on the... Sadly, it was based on the radiation absorbed from the bombs dropped on Nagasaki and Hiroshima and World War II. It was based on calculations from there. <clears throat> but a very, very clever mathematician, and I have his paper, actually showed that almost every step of the way when they did their mathematical calculation with what we have with today's knowledge was incorrect. And the World Health Organization and the IGNAP certificate, their calculations for the six minutes are wrong. <clears throat> can I just clarify on the, on the wire and the bra? As far as I can see from my simple, simple knowledge of physics, the wire being curved acts partially like a, a section of a satellite dish, which has a focal point which focuses the ra Absolutely radiation right. to a point, yep. rather like when you use a magnifying glass to set leaves on fire. Absolutely correct. I mean, the radiation will come out in all directions, but the part that comes out in the middle section, the middle of the horseshoe, if you like, you're right, it's like a satellite dish, and it will have the same focal point. If, <clears throat> and my wife won't mind me saying this, um, when a lady, and I hope I'm not being too personal here, when a lady gets a bra that is really, really comfortable, <coughs> excuse me, they tend to wear it a lot because yes. it's comfortable. Yes. And if you're wearing the same bra all of the time because it's comfortable, you are then having the same focal point in the mammary cells week after week after week after week.